two, three, slow. And with that, the first ceremonial cast, the three-day Rhode Island Saltwater Anglers Fishing Camp for Kids at Rocky Point was underway with the help of the Rhode Island DEM and Director That's Janet Coy. You can see it's a gorgeous day out here and everyone's having fun. And at the end of the day, they're all going to imprint on this beautiful place and learn about the bay. Walk Mayor Joseph Solomon with a flashback. I used to do this as a child off the rocks yeah. up there. Yeah. And I don't want to go back to the office. I want to stay here with you and continue fishing for the rest of the day. But I need your support to do that. Will you support me? Yeah! Okay. This camp is just fantastic. A free fishing camp for kids with the Rhode Island Saltwater Anglers Association and the Department of Environmental Management. So what they do is really teach kids to appreciate nature, to have fun, to learn science, and they're doing it all in a way that is just really exciting for the children. The morning with five rotating stations for the campers who were split up into age groups. One group given a series of attributes of a fish and they got to design their own species. Clear puff duck. <laughs> okay. Had dark skin tone. So when we created this park, I was hoping that things like this would happen and having the saltwater anglers put on this camp has just been spectacular. Real local species up close and personal. If you're going to eat something, you have to have a mouth that's very specific to what you're eating. So you take a look at this uh, silver hake here. This guy right here, the summer flounder. Okay, so this guy, summer flounder, when do we see him? In the summertime, right? Watch your hands around the mouth of a summer flounder. They got pretty sharp teeth. Black sea bass, we got two here. So black sea bass. This is a tatog. And these guys, we love these guys in Rhode Island. They, they don't uh, travel very far. Though. Also stations to learn the different types of reels, a chance to learn how to cast these rods, and of course, how to tie some knots. In the afternoon, the kids learn more about tagging and releasing and a chance to see more of the life in the bay. They're learning today about different species of fish, but they're also tagging fish and learning about how we monitor fish populations. Um, they're learning science from some of our DEM scientists and uh, have so much fun that they're going to grow up to be environmental stewards and they're always going to come back to Rocky Point. And with all the background behind them, two full days of fishing straight ahead. Honestly, the folks on, in the saltwater anglers who are volunteering their time really know and appreciate fishing, so I'm sure everybody will learn a lot very quickly. Including Director Coit. You got a few tips on your casting skills. I, I did. I learned a lot. And uh, if you uh, listen, and follow directions, sometimes you can get better at something. And that happened for me today. First fish of the day. But certainly not the last of the three-day Rhode Island Saltwater Anglers Fishing Camp. I'm Don Coyne reporting.